Hi. Oh, hi guys. Sorry. <laughs> Camera troubles. Woohoo. Anyway, hopefully you can hear me and um, hope this comes out. I just wanted to do a quick demo video, which I haven't done in a long time, and it was kind of time for me to strain some products, and so I thought it'd be kind of fun to show how I do that. I have two products here that I need to, to strain, um, and I'll explain what those are. Sorry, I wasn't sure how I could get everything in frame without my head getting cut off, and I thought that would be weird with a disembodied voice speaking to you. So I, yeah, I can do this. Anyway. <laughs> The first product is, well, it doesn't really say, it's, um, I tried to make lemoncella, um, so it's basically kind of a lemon rind dish and Everclear, and I was kinda, I was gonna make it for, um, Christmas gifts, so I need to strain that, and I'll be straining that into these bottles, which will not be the final product, the final resting place, I'm gonna I think gift them in these because I think I'll be able to get two or three out of this. Hopefully it turns out I don't know. I kind of like to experiment so this is you know guess and go try it out and see. This is the cannabis oil and um, see it's kind of all so there's a lot of product or a lot of uh, plant matter in there and um, it's this and it's uh, fractionated coconut oil and it will turn into, it'll look like this. And um, this is just, it's the topical oil. I mix it into body products. I use it neat. I actually use it in my mouth a lot for like a toothache or um, whatever you can ingest it. It's fine. It's just a kind of a many uses thing. You can use it on your body. You can use it kind of in the body. Um, I don't recommend putting it in your eye. Uh, but anyway, it has a lot of uses, uh, but this is just the, how you make it and this one actually it's been sitting around for a year <laughs> I just haven't gotten around to straining it and this thing will be going into here which I might need another one but I don't know so the way I do it is it used to, I used to use um like cheesecloth but I kind of got tired of dealing with the cheesecloth because I didn't want to clean it after using an oil it's a really messy so I'd end up chucking it and um it got expensive, so I'm just using coffee filters, and I'm using two different kinds just because, I don't know, I just grabbed two different kinds because I had them. So anyway, there's this one, and I'm using a cone filter, and so I'll just kind of start the process. We won't sit through it at all. Uh, I'll probably just check back in and show you how it came out. Um, obviously, we know what this is going to be like because I've done it before, but I'll show you kind of how I pour, um, and I kind of just do it because it, it literally, it takes a really long time with the oil it takes a really long time and you might even go through several filters but um anyway I'm just gonna give you hold on let's see how I can show you okay here I'll move it back so you see the filter and I'm on there's a towel underneath all this so all right wish me the best here we go it smells so good that's what I think oh god I love the smell of it, it just smells lovely pour it in and I like to fill the filter all the way to the top or, or close to the top and just let it go down on its own. And you can kind of, I'm going to show you guys the process as it's coming down. You can see it. I'm not sure how much you can, yeah, there it goes. And you can see that beautiful color. Yeah, it's going to be nice. The smell is just so, it's like soft and bright and it just, I'm not sure how to explain it. It's just really pleasant. It's just, it's calming and happy and good. It's all good. So we'll let that do its thing and we'll start with the limoncello, which I have another bottle here for it, but let's, it's kind of up so you can see that too. I'm gonna give it a shake. This should go a little faster and I probably will need another filter for that too. And it's really on there. Ah, yeah. I'm not gonna smell it. Well, a little bit. Oh, actually, Ooh, very citrusy. Actually, this may have turned out better than I... Wow. Surprise, something I made turned out good. Yay. Pleasant surprise. Well, shoot, you can't really see, but actually you can see it's yellow. Sorry, you can also see the cat hair on the outside. But uh, it smells very lemony. Very, very bright lemony. 
oh, this might be very good. You stick that in the freezer and have a quick shot of it. I guess it's, that's kind of how you have it. I have it in very, very cold shot glasses. I'm kind of excited. I wonder what I could do with these lemon bits in here. Because I hate to throw them out, but I really don't know. Cat hair. Yummy. So anyway, I don't want to drag on and drag on watching me watch things dribble, dribble, dribble. But anyway, so I just kind of wanted to get this down so you kind of have a little idea of how this goes. Um, if you have any questions, pop it into the comments. Uh, and I'd be happy to answer them as best as I can. Um, anyway, I just wanted to do a quick check-in and I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Okay, bye-bye. Yikes. Ah.